What you guys got another video here for you on how to replace the Windows search with everything. Now, unfortunately, Windows search is a bit of a resource hog and in Windows 11, it's even worse. So if you're like a lot of other people, they generally just disable it. And this means that you won't have any sort of search feature on your Windows based system. Now, having Windows search enabled uses a service and it also uses a lot of system resources and it's continuously running in the background, which is a bit of a resource hog. So there is a program you can use called Everything and Everything Toolbar. Now, a lot of people don't know about how to set this up so you can replace the Windows search completely with everything. And I'm going to share how to do that today. It's very simple and easy to do and it will completely transform the way you search for things on your Windows system. So inside your system, we have a search index in here, and we're going to completely disable all of this so it's not working, and we're going to replace it with everything. And you'll probably find that you will gain some resources back on your system as well. Now, before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Create an account on CD Key Sales and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. You can pay via PayPal. Once you get your key sent to you, you'll be able to activate your version of Windows, just like you see there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. We're going to download the installer from uh, Void Tools, and this is the Everything Search. So download the 64-bit, and we're going to get also the Everything Toolbar, and that's on GitHub. And what we're going to do here is get the latest version by clicking latest. And you will see right down the bottom here, everything toolbar. And it's this file here that we need. And it was updated uh, two weeks ago. So you might see this message come up. I'm just going to keep the file and keep anyway and download it. It's that simple. So once we've got these two files downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to install them. And I'll show you how... The whole process works is very simple step by step simple way to replace the windows search so first off let's get everything installed on the system these are the two files here that we can uh, use now you can copy them to your desktop if you want to i'm just going to leave them inside the downloads folder here click ok and just go through the installation process it's pretty painless just leave this as install everything service and also we can see app data and everything is selected right there. So let's go next. And there's a couple of other options here. If you want to read through these, I'm just going to leave these as is and we'll just install and say yes. And we can now run everything. There we go. That's now done. And this is it right here. It's not very pretty to look at, but we don't want to be searching via this method like this. I want to make sure we've replaced in the search on our system and i'll show you how to do that so there is a few settings inside here you can configure and let's quickly do those now by going tools and options and inside here you'll see a bunch of uh, settings you can make uh, changes to so the first one what we can change is the show search everything folder context menu item you can check mark that if you wish and there's run as administrator and there's a bunch of other stuff in here if you want to set yours up the way you like to do yours by all means do so but that's the one i'm going to set right now and once we've done that you can also check here which is in the indexing this is another place where the indexing is for everything and you can check mark some of these if you want to i'm just going to check mark a couple of these and this is the folders you can add to it so for instance if you have a network folder you can add a network folder on here and it will be able to find all those files on your network also, if you have other files located across your network, you'll be able to add those in here as well, and it will find those in the search. Once that's done, you can check mark whatever you like, and we can now click OK, and we should then be done with the uh, everything program. So I'm just going to leave these as is. So just let me check mark that one there, and also we can access the access. So I'm going to leave these ones as is right here. OK. 
So once that's done, we can click OK. And that is now the search all set. So what we need to do here is down the bottom right hand side, you'll see the icon here. Now we don't want to be clicking on it down here all the time. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to open this up and we don't want to be searching via this method like this by having to go down to there all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up exactly in the place where Windows search was previously. So let's go back into the uh, options here for our taskbar. So right click on the taskbar and go taskbar settings. And we can turn off the stuff we don't want. So I don't want widgets. I don't want task view and I don't want copilot. So I'm going to turn those off and you can choose whether you want the search box on. So I'm going to turn and put hide on because I don't want this search box to be shown. And there is Explorer patch on here. So I will uninstall that to show you exactly what it looks like afterwards without any other applications. And you can just check mark and uncheck whatever you like here. Again, what we need to do now is enable also the everything program. So open up this area here where it says hidden icon menu. And we're going to check mark this and you will see it show up here. And what you can do also is you can close this off now. And we're going to go ahead and install the other application as well. So let me go ahead and close that off. And let's now go and install our other application, which is the everything toolbar. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed as well. So all we need to do here is go through the motions and click on install and say yes here. And this will start to install the application, click finish. And then the application uh, will open. So you can now see, you can choose your icon. What do you want to use? I'm going to use the blue icon right here. And we're going to click the arrow key. And we can now choose to pin this to our taskbar. But if you want to use one of the darker ones, you can. I'm going to use that blue one. So pin to taskbar. And that's what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and pin it to the taskbar by right clicking on it and pinning to taskbar. So let's just right click on this one here and pin to taskbar, as you can see. That's simple. OK, so we've got an option to hide the Windows search icon. And I've already done that, so I'm going to leave that check mark there. And also we can configure the auto startup so we can enable this so it starts up on a startup. And that's exactly what we want to do because we want this program to start up every single time we reboot the PC. So once that's done, we can close that option and we can now restart Explorer here. And we're going to say yes here and the Explorer will go black and the screen will come back. And what we're going to do next is going to go back into our settings here. And once we get into settings, we can go back into where it says uh, the hide options here. And we want to show our taskbar here. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So we're going to come down and we're going to now show this one. There we go. So that's now done. And uh, what we can do here is we can now go into our section of this PC, right click on our uh, drive here, go to properties, and you can uncheck this option right here, which is going to allow files and drives to be indexed. Because we're not using the Windows indexer anymore, I'm just going to click on this and say ignore all and uncheck this. And this will take a bit of time and it's going to unindex all of these files. And this will save a bit of space on your drive because we're not going to be using this anymore. We're going to be using the everything search, which is a much more superior search than Windows search. Now that's done, you can now see, now I've rebooted the computer. This is exactly how we like it. We now have this search option for all file folders and loads of other things that we can search for inside right here. And it's exactly how we want our search to look. But we still got a few more steps to completely disable the Windows search index. And you can see I've already done the unindex all of our files here by uncheck marking that and restarting the PC afterwards. So what we need to do next is we're going to go to run and type services uh, msc and this will open up the services panel and inside here we need to disable uh, the windows search here and this will turn off the windows search for us and this will save a lot of resources because we don't need to use this anymore and this is going to be continuously running in the background so click stop on this service and then turn this to disable you can have it on manual if you want to i'm going to disable mine because i'm not going to be using it anymore and click ok and that's now done 
and now we can close that window off and that's now completely stopped. Now, when we restart the system, you will gain a, a fair few uh, resources back. So if we do a search for indexing here, this is the indexing options. You'll see now that this is all completely turned off and that's because we disabled the actual uh, service and we've also unindexed all our files. So we don't need to worry about this anymore. It's not running in the background and it's not using up system resources. And what that means also is now we can use the everything uh, indexer to find our content on our system. So you can either search for all files, folders, or whatever it is you want to search for. So I'm going to search for all ISOs by doing a star dot ISO. And you can see straight away it's found that ISO on my system. So if I want to search for zip files, I can do star dot zip and it will find all the zip files on my system. If you know the name, you can search for the name as well or the folder. You can do that as well. So if I wanted to search for a folder or any type of file, you can do it right through here and it's a lot faster. So JPEG will show me all the JPEGs I have in my system. If you know the JPEG file name, you can do a search for it. And if you know the folder name, you can also do a search for the folder. Let me just do a quick search for wallpaper inside the actual folder section here. And you'll probably see that there's going to be a folder coming up called wallpaper. So it will find everything with wallpaper in it. But if you want to break it down, you come down here and this is the location right here. And there we are we've just found all of our wallpapers that we have on our system. Very quick and easy to do, a much more faster and superior search engine and less resource hungry than the Windows search that you have on your system today. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. I'll be interested to read your comments. Have a lovely weekend. Quick shout out to all my uh, YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.